Precious friends, precious family, how are you doing today? God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. I thank and praise God for this wonderful opportunity to share God's word with you once again. In the book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, verse 9, we read like this. The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. You see, God knows how to deliver the godly people from the coming wrath, from the coming judgment, from the coming punishment. God knows how to do that and we will see how he is going to do that. I would like to show you the similarity between Noah, Lot and the church. God warned Noah. God revealed to Noah that judgment is coming. Noah believed and Noah obeyed and God delivered and blessed Noah. God revealed to Lot about the coming judgment. God warned him and Lot believed and obeyed. And God delivered Lot and blessed him. Today, God is revealing to the whole world about the coming judgment. God is warning the whole world about the coming judgment through the church, through his holy Bible. If someone obeys it, believes it, God will deliver him and bless him. That's a message. God is warning the whole world. God is revealing to the whole world through the church, through the Holy Bible that judgment is coming. Punishment is coming. Destruction is coming. The world is coming to an end. God is revealing that and warning the whole world to repent and to turn back from their sins and to accept Lord Jesus as their Savior and to live a holy life in order to be delivered and blessed. That's what we read in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. In the book of Genesis chapter 5, verse 22, we see that God saw that the wickedness of man was so great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart and the Lord said I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth both men and beast and the creeping things and the fowls of the year for it repent for it repents me that i have made them but noah found grace in the eyes of god noah did what all god commanded and god delivered and blessed noah you got it noah paid attention Noah listened to God, Noah believed God, Noah obeyed God, and Noah was delivered and blessed. You got it? We need to pay attention to God. God speak to the whole mankind through his word, the Holy Bible. You got it? And God says that when we believe him, when we obey him, he will deliver us and he will save us. In the book of Genesis, chapter 18, verse 20, we read like this. And the Lord said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because of their sin is very grievous. He says that. He heard the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah, and he said, Their sins were grievous. You got it? Sin attracts God's judgment. That's what happened in the days of Noah. 
that's what happened in the days of Lot. Sodom introduced sodomy. Gays and lesbians came out of Sodom. It was introduced over there. In Genesis 6, we read that murder, rape, violence, deliberate sinning, swinging, swapping, all those things took place in the days of Noah. God warned Noah. He said, I'm going to destroy the whole world. Noah immediately listened to God, believed God, obeyed God, and did what all God told him to do. And eventually, he and his family were saved. And they were blessed as well. The same thing happened during the time of Lot. God asked him to get out of Sodom. He got out of Sodom. While that was happening, his wife disobeyed the word of God. She turned back and looked at Sodom and she became pillar of salt. Even today, there are so many people, even after hearing repeated warnings, still they do not obey. And God says that the day will come. They too will be destroyed. Like the wife of Lot. In the book of Genesis chapter 19, verse 19, we read that Lot found grace in the sight of God. And he obeyed God, believed God. God delivered him and blessed him. In the book of John, chapter 1, verse 16 and 17, we read like this. And for his, Jesus, and for his fullness, we all have received grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. You got it? Jesus brought grace to all mankind. Whoever believes the word of God, whoever obeys the word of God will be delivered, will be blessed. Simple. That's the message. That's what we read in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, which is Jesus, whosoever believes in him shall not perish but should have everlasting life. That is the desire of God, dream of God. God expects all of us to have eternal life. And God shows the way by simply believing in Lord Jesus, we can get eternal life. That's what we read in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 9. If you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and confess with your mouth that Jesus is your Lord, you will be saved. And God continues to say in Acts chapter 2 verse 38, He says, repent and be baptized in the name of Lord Jesus for the remission of your sins, so that you will receive the Holy Spirit, so that you can live a holy life. My brother, my sister, my friend, God is warning you today. God is revealing this great secret to you that destruction is coming, judgment is coming, and He is telling you, wake up. He says, run for your life. Towards whom? Towards the church, towards Jesus. To accept Jesus as Lord, your Savior, and to live a holy life. God is warning you today. God is speaking to you today. Obey God so that you too will be delivered. You too will be saved. You too will be blessed. That's what we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 and 52. He says that, Behold, I tell you a secret. I tell you a mystery. You all shall not die, but you will be changed. The transfiguration will take place when Lord Jesus returns. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, we will all be changed. In case, if you too believe in this Jesus, if you too obey this Jesus, if you too got saved, if you too have taken a immersion baptism, if you too have received the Holy Spirit, if you too are living a holy life, I tell you my brother, my sister, my friend, you too will be taken up. You too will be transfigured. You too will be changed. And you too will become the family of Jesus. And we all will be living forever and ever in heaven without tears, without pain, without sorrows, without death. You got it? My brother, 
my sister, my friend. God warned, revealed to Noah the destruction is coming. Noah believed God, obeyed God. God delivered him, God blessed him. Lot received the revelation from God. Lot received the warning from God. Lot believed God, obeyed God. God delivered Lot and God blessed him. Today, God is revealing to the whole world that judgment is coming. God is warning the whole world that judgment is coming. If you believe, if you obey God, you too will be delivered. You too will be blessed. Simple, simple, simple. My brother, my sister, my friend, God cannot lie. God loves you so much. That is the reason God is talking to you today. You are listening to this video just because God loves you so much and He is reaching to you personally, individually. He is reaching to you. Stop taking your eternal life in heaven for granted. My brother, my sister, once dead, we cannot make any changes about our eternity in heaven. Only when we are alive and around, when we are, when we are in sound mind, we can take this decision. Choose to follow Jesus. Choose to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Take immersion baptism. Receive the Holy Spirit. Follow the Holy Bible. Whatever it says, believe and obey and live a holy life. I tell you, my brother, my sister, my friend, you will never ever regret. You will be blessed for now and in the days to come in heaven forever and ever. Until we meet again, may God be with you all. Amen. Hallelujah.